Hi, my name is Jessica Wright and I'm an LPN with St. Anthony's Hospice. I work on call for Union and Webster County's weekend option nights. What I want to share with you all for National Hospice and Palliative Care Month is the true 24-7 availability that St. Anthony's offers for our patients and their family members. I work on an as-needed basis and although I don't have my own patient load that I see um, on a routine schedule every week, I do get the honor of seeing patients um, whenever they have needs arise when their regular nurse is off. And a lot of times I see patients for different reasons. Maybe they have a new onset of pain or shortness of breath. They've had a fall and uh, developed a new skin tear or uh, maybe they just have a change in status and they feel like, you know, their patients really had some unique differences in um, the way they're breathing or just their overall condition. I truly am glad to come and see patients and their families no matter the time or day of night. I feel like a lot of people feel like they're a burden when they call our um, nurse line at 3 o'clock in the morning and I just want to make sure everyone knows that you should never feel that way because St. Anthony's Hospice truly is available to you anytime, day or night. Uh, we understand that taking care of a hospice patient is a full-time job. It's not something that um, only happens during business hours. You all have needs and you have changes that can occur at any time and without a moment's notice. And we are glad to help you. My favorite thing I think about my job is whenever I do get calls in the middle of the night and I get to talk to family members who are up, maybe short on sleep, um, maybe short on help, taking care of their hospice family members. And we have some good talks, some good heart-to-heart -heart talks. And that's probably my favorite part of the job is just to be able to listen and talk through the struggles that you're having, uh, celebrate the good days that you're having, and just provide that support for you to let you know that although you're doing some very hard work, you're doing some very good work, and that a lot of times people are so, so thankful for hospice and they don't give themselves enough credit for the job that they're doing. So I'm here to tell you that you as a caregiver are you're doing an amazing job and you are sacrificing so much to give your loved one the um, death that they deserve and the death that they desire and it's so important for you all to realize that that is such a beautiful thing and it's so rewarding to be able to see that and to see the support systems that families have and the bond that families create whenever they are caring for a hospice patient. I have learned so much about death in my time as a hospice nurse and it's not something that is bad and I, I hope more people can understand that the end of someone's life is just as important and just as beautiful as the beginning of their life. It is so special to me to be able to learn about a patient whenever I go out and make a visit just through the stories that their family members tell. You can see so much about a person and the life that they've lived through the stories that their family members share and, and that's an honor to me. Um, I, I love that. I love connecting with people. Um, building those relationships even though I see patients um, a lot of times on short visits or you know random visits I still can be blessed by that so much and I'm so thankful for that.